Hi, Assalamualaikum and every good day to everyone. So, welcome back to my channel and today I would like to discuss about reflection. As you all know, the previous video I already taught you about mirror, right? So, you already learned about the plane mirror, right? The properties of the plane mirror. So today we go a bit more about the characteristics that involve in a plane mirror. So to discuss this topic, which is a reflection of light, you must always remember that reflection of light and plane mirror is a couple, a ah, lovely couple, you know. All right, both properties, which is this is an object, plane mirror is an object, but this is one of the properties that plane mirror have, which is a reflection of light, pantulan cahaya, cahaya memantul, toing. Dia datang dan dia toing, dia pantul balik. So that is called a reflection of light. So before we proceed, why don't we learn the characteristics of the plane mirror first? Which is plane mirror have four main characteristics. First one is upright, menegak. The second one is virtual, maya. Yang ketiga, the image of the plane mirror is same size and same distance and the fourth one is laterally inverted so now cikgu explain satu per satu so for me to explain this and i want you to understand more better can you please refer to the page 231 textbook form one right so this page okay so let's discuss about this mm, all right give me some time for me to open the apps okay so now let's go we discuss page 231 all right uh table 8.1 so it shows to you that the first characteristics is upright okay this is upright upright maksud dia menegak okay so kalau cikgu ada mirror dekat belakang ni eh so bila cikgu tengok mirror or every morning that you see your mirror ha, every morning you see your mirror you nampak muka you straight lah kan ada tak bila you tengok mirror muka jadi terbalik tak kan so itulah maksud dia upright and then the second one is object size and object distance here. Object size equal to image size, object distance equal to image distance. You can see here this boy, right? Uh, this boy, all right, standing in front of the mirror. So this is an object and then this is an image, object image. You can see, you nampak dekat situ, size of the boy is the same. Kata pagi-pagi, you tengok cermin, kan? Muka you, katalah muka you 10 cm. So, dekat cermin pun you nampak muka you. Dalam cermin pun you nampak muka you 10 cm juga. Takkanlah dalam cermin tu muka you tiba-tiba jadi kecil. Tak kan? Dia akan same size. Sama juga dengan distance. If you dengan mirror. Okay, let's say mirror. Cikgu dengan mirror. Ha, kata ni mirror. Kata cikgu dengan mirror ni lebih kurang satu pembaris panjang 30 cm. So, image cikgu dalam mirror ni pun tetap 30 cm. Alright? So, they have same uh, same size and same distance, the image. Huh? Alright, and then you have laterally inverted. Uh, laterally inverted. Dia tak kata inverted saja. Dia kata laterally. Laterally maksudnya side to side. Okay, laterally inverted maksudnya dia side to side. If kita letak sebelah-sebelah, dia jadi terbalik. Alright, now kata cikgu ambil huruf B, betul? Cikgu ambil huruf B, objek. Cikgu letakkan depan cermin cikgu. Alright, you letak depan cermin. You can see that dekat dalam tu dia macam terbalik. And then bila you ambil image tu, you letak sebelah-sebelah. Alright, image tu you lukis balik, you letak sebelah-sebelah. You can see that they are laterally inverted. Alright, terbalik dari side to side. And the last properties of plane mirror is a virtual Virtual. Apa maksud virtual? Virtual maksudnya that image did not form on the screen. Alright? Tangan you, you letak tangan you dekat mirror. What happen? Tangan you di dalam mirror tu, you boleh tak ambil tangan mirror tu? Dia ada dekat screen. Boleh ambil tak? Tak boleh kan? Dia dalam mirror tu. How can you uh, take that your hand dalam tu? Dia virtual. Ha, so, nama dia virtual. So, that is the four characteristics that plain mirror have. Alright, and we have extra one characteristic which is a reflection of light. Okay, before kita nak proceed dengan lebih further about reflection of light, 
Okay, uh, cikgu akan buat a next uh, video about law of reflection. So, this video is only like uh, introduction to the reflection of light only and the characteristics of the plane mirror. So, now we go to the reflection of light. Nah, pantolan cahaya. So, if you have one light rays, okay, if you have one light rays, say to cahaya tuju. Alright, katalah I have one torch light. Alright, cikgu suluhkan that light kena on the surface of the mirror. So, what will happen? That light will reflect back. Dia akan pantul bah, pantul balik. So, this phenomenon is a reflection of, of light. So, now, we have two optical instruments that apply the concept of reflection. This one, alright, object ataupun instrument lah, optical instrument, on in, optical instrument, alright, that apply the concept of the reflection, alright, that have you learned in your lab. We have periscope and cladioscope. So, I have video of this that my students will do the demonstration how to use periscope and Cladioscope. Okay, so cikgu nak tunjuk one uh, optical instrument yang cikgu bagi tahu tadi. We have two optical instrument that complies the reflection of light. Alright, so the first one is this one, which is cladioscope. So cladioscope is actually the form. It it is formed from three plane mirror. Alright, that is joined together in a form of like this lah triangle. So you can see kan dalam dia macam ada bits. Hmm. Dalam dia ada bit. So now, Kistina will demonstrate how to use. And saya kita tanya soalan dekat Kistina. Right? Nah. <laughs> okay, cantik tak? Cantik. Cantik kan? Hmm. Busin-busin sikit. Ha. So kenapa dalam dia nampak macam tu? Nampak macam pantulan-pantulan? Uh, dia nampak macam ni sebab reflection of light hmm. between the mirror inside the telescope. Yeah. Okay. Ha, so... Yang tu, yang tu adalah cladioscope. So, sekarang kita akan teruskan dengan periskop. So, ini adalah periskop tau. Nah, okay, ini adalah periskop. So, periskop ni, alright, normally use in a, what? Submarine. Ha, so, you normally use in a submarine. Alright, kita tahu, alright, submarine kan dia duduk dalam air. Kan? Bila dia duduk dalam air, so macam mana dia nak see, uh, dia nak see image at the surface. So, caranya adalah, Pakai periscope. Periscope juga use the concept of reflection di mana they have two plane mirror inside inside here. Nampak here is the bottom bottom mirror and here is the upper mirror. Okay, ha, so Kistina akan demonstrate nanti. Right, jom kita tengok. Okay, so now Kistina akan duduk di tempat cikgu dan cikgu akan duduk di sini. Kistina akan tengok cikgu daripada sana. Duduk dekat kerusi tu. Ha, so, ala-ala Kistina dalam submarine. Ah, Kistina dalam submarine. Ha, okay, macam ni Kistina nak tengok cikgu? Ha, nampak tak? Nampak. Yay, Kistina nampak cikgu. So, tugas ataupun the function of the periscope is actually kita nak tengok image yang kita tak dapat tengok. Macam submarine kan, alright? The side submarine di bawah, cikgu kat atas. Ha, so, nak tengok lagi satu pun kalau behind the wall lah. Macam ni kan ada dua wall. So, Kistina duduk kat sini, Cik duduk kat sini. Kalau nak tengok true wall ni tak boleh betul. So, kita boleh juga pakai periskop. Thank you, Kistina. Bye. So, that's it for today video. So, I see you on the next video about law of reflection. Bye.